Hey, I wanted to do a quick video uh, that I think might upset some of you, and I don't want to do it just to upset you, but I think it'll actually help get you more product users and hopefully more business builders in the long run. And uh, it's something that happens to at least my wife on a weekly basis, basis, if not more. And it's the hey girl spam or the hey girl pitch message uh, through Facebook Messenger or wherever you are online. And it usually starts with a front, like almost like a facade of, hey, I'm reaching out to you because I care about you, uh, I want to see what's going on, but it's always backloaded with a pitch or I want something out of you or I want you to buy from me, you know. And it just to me feels really clunky. I don't like it. Personally to us, it's it's kind of a turn off uh, when somebody approaches me like that. Um, unless they've provided a lot of engagement and value before that. That to me makes a huge difference. But I have a couple ideas for you. If that's you and you feel stuck and you aren't really getting a lot of traction with that, maybe it's just the people being kind to you that are kind of humoring you and, and taking a look at what you're throwing down. Um, but there's two ways that you can really get around this. Um, the first way that, you know, if you're really trying to go fast um, it, and get results quick and you want to get straight to the point, if you're just that kind of person, which is totally fine, like you are who you are and that's great. Um, what I've been doing is I just, I just get straight to the point. I don't pretend. Um, and actually one of my mentors told me um, what's better is to, uh, what's better is to get to the point first and then connect afterward because if you do it in reverse order it feels like you're reaching out to somebody with the the sole intent it, it kind of feels like your priority is the pitch is selling them right um, but if you just get straight to the point and say hey look I'm, I've just started this project and I'm just trying to find people to try this out or whatever your script is um, just get right to the point and then afterward say hey how are the kids or hey how was your trip to Cabo or um, really engage with people afterward and then another way you can go about it is provide so much excitement and value and engagement through your social media channels whether it's your personal Facebook page your fan page um, your Instagram your YouTube whatever it is just be so human and so present to people that it's kind of a natural byproduct to reach out to you and say, hey, what the heck are you doing? How do you get to how do you get to do all these things? How do you get to stay at home so much? How do you get to go on these trips so much? Why are you so excited <laughs> all the time, you know? Um, and then if people are engaging on your, your posts and things like that and interacting with you on a human level first, then maybe you can go back in and say the hey girl message. Um, but provide value first. Uh, don't just go for the kill without giving something really meaningful first um, and it'll really help your social media game go a long 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 way uh, compared to the pitching and the spamming of just trying to get people to buy your product or uh, promotions 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 it gets to a point where if all you're doing is sending people your link to your store or your product or your promotion or your contest if that's all you're doing it gets really wearisome really really fast it gets stale really fast it kind of makes you look like somebody who's just a very transactional person and doesn't really care about the human element of humanity <laughs> so I, I just wanted to kind of pop on here and tell you guys just Try something a little bit different if that's your approach. Just be a person with people and connect with people and engage with people and be exciting with people. Um, I see a lot of people doing it really, really, really well, um, but then I still see quite a few people who are doing it in a way that is a big turnoff that, that scares away prospects faster than you want. I mean, you really never want to scare away prospects, um, but just try to be <clears throat> somebody who provides something interesting in life. I mean, I know somebody who does great videos. They do live videos on their personal Facebook all the time. Of it's almost like it's almost like they have a reality show uh, for their life, you know. And it's nothing crazy personal. It's nothing super creative. It's usually like, oh my gosh, we found a spider in the house, you know, and we don't know what to do with it. Or, hey, what kind of plant is this that seems to be taking over our organic garden, you know? Uh, or hey, we're just down here at the pier, this is what's going on, check out this live musician over here that's been playing and blowing our minds with their skill. You know, just really kind of inviting their, their friends and fans into an aspect of their life. 
um, and it provides so much value and they're getting a lot of people all the time reaching out to them hey what the heck are you guys up to where are you gonna be next how can we connect you know it really it's like it's very attractive when it's just um, what's the word when there's no catch you know what I'm saying um, and then I have another uh, friend they live in the Florida area and they actually call their live streams every single day uh, or at least a couple times a week they actually call it their, their you know life with our family you know they have their name in there life with the blah blah blahs um, and they just kind of broadcast different things sometimes they have a conversation about moving or something that's been going on in their lives or um, a circumstance that's popped up or just different things really going on and it provides so much just engagement and it establishes so much trust it helps me like them just because I feel like I'm getting to know them even though they don't really know me very well you know they're just kind of a, a distant friend um, but it's it works really really well to get people coming toward you because that's really the goal is you want to get prospects moving your direction instead of you just chasing 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 all the time uh, people are gonna start running faster 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 the faster you try to chase them so just try to be some some kind of like attractive character you don't have to be perfect you don't have to have the perfect teeth the perfect complexion um, you don't have to have everything put together you don't have to be a fashionista you don't have to be a multi bajillionaire um, you just have to be you that's like your one job that you can do better than anybody else in the world and if you do that better than anyone else in the world you'll be amazed what kind of things will happen for your business what kind of doors will open what kind of opportunities will pop up and what kind of conversations just kind of happen naturally um, to kind of open the door to your business or your products or your service or maybe your Facebook group or whatever it is that you're wanting to expand so I hope this was really helpful for you um, don't be too upset at me uh, if, if you feel like I called you out a little bit um, really this is nothing personal to any one person in particular it's just something I see a lot with so many different people in so many different backgrounds in so many different industries and in so many different companies and I just t I it doesn't seem to go down well uh, it, it's it's not it's not the best approach so just wanted to kind of throw a couple of different things at you different um, methods at you that might be helpful so try it out let me know how it goes see you guys